and I'm going to crack my egg straight on to the center and you can do a couple of eggs at the same time and then because the argo lid is dome shaped you can close the lid and that's how I fry an egg. I get a lot of questions about cooking on an agar and the benefits of it. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and to ring the bell to be notified of my weekly videos. And I'm gonna tell you all about the benefits of agar life actually, because it's not just cooking. To start with, I thought I'd talk you through our agar here. This is an electric auger, which has got um, an AIMS system, so it can be programmed, so it can be hotter at certain times of the day and then it drops its temperature at night. So it's more um, efficient, I suppose. And this in, in here is the AIMS control panel. We've had this and we actually put it in, um, I chose it. We've had this now for nine years here and I absolutely love it. At the end here, this is um, just a pure electric module and when this is turned off, because it does get quite warm in here in the summer, I can use that to cook on. This um, though is just utterly brilliant. So I've got my roasting oven here, my simmering oven and my baking oven. Um, we put this in, which is just the best thing ever. And this is why I call it Arga Life. It's not just cooking because it dries 80% of our laundry up here, which is just incredible. So that is really useful, but we don't have, as you'll notice, we don't have a flue that goes up here. Because it's electric, it's actually got a flue that goes under the floor, down here, and out to the wall there. So that is one benefit of having the electric. You don't need to have the flue that you do. I think with oil and gas, it has to, but I'm not, not an Arga expert, I'm just an expert on our one here. So I'm going to show you actually how I do a cooked breakfast because it really demonstrates um, the different sort of aspects of the Arga. So um, to start with, I have got um, my Arga tray. So I'm just going to do a small, a small breakfast. I'm not going to use the huge tins, I'm just going to use these. Um, and that, I'm holding these bits of paper that I want to show you. So this is, I call it Bake Glide. Um, Lakeland sell it and they call it non-stick magic liners. And they are reusable. They are incredible. So this is an old piece that we have had for years. Actually, that's probably about five years old. It's slightly, um, I don't know what's on there and it's got cut. So I actually just cut out a new piece to show you the difference. Um, so I line all my trays with Baco Glide, like that. And here I've just got some tomatoes and mushrooms. So I'm going to pop those in this tin here. And then I'm going to put a little sprinkle of salt on the tomatoes. It's really difficult with the camera. I can't show you what I'm doing and my head at the same time, which is tricky anyway I will lift it up and show you and then I just I like mixed herbs on our tomatoes so I'm just going to pop those on there like that for you now um, I have got some sausages and bacon but I'm going to use this grill here and I'm just going to place the sausages on here and I am using streaky streaky bacon I'm just going to pop some of that on there like that. Quickly wash my hands and then show you show you where I'm going to put them in the arga. So I've got my sausages and bacon on there. I find using the rack that the bacon gets crispier so that's why I do that. Now they're going to go into the roasting oven. Now I want you, in fact I'm going to show you this first. Um, you can just see the rack here, they're designed that you can't just yank them out. You have to lift them and slide like that. And it's a bit like an aeroplane taking off. So those hook bits go at the back and think of these as feet there. It's quite hot, so be careful. So I'm just going to slide that above the nodules 
and then let it drop down like that. Now, if you think of the top of the arga is like a grill and the floor of the roasting oven is like a frying pan and you also get heat from the sides. So if you want to grill something, you put it at the top of the oven. So I'm gonna slide this and these trays are great because they slide on the rack. So I can get that right at the top and I'm gonna slide that along there. And then my mushrooms and my tomatoes, I'm going to fry from underneath. So I'm gonna pop those on the floor like that. And then while those are cooking, I want to talk to you about this. So this is called a plain cold sheet. And I use it particularly when I'm baking or if I'm cooking pastries like a pie or something. So my pie will go in the roasting oven, but I don't want the heat from the top coming down onto the pastry. Maybe for, for the first 10 minutes, yes. But if I left it uncovered, it would burn. So you don't need to use tin foil. You can just slide this on the top and the same for baking a cake. So um, it just literally slides right at the very top um, on there to stop the top burning. So this is really, really useful, but it's also really important that you don't keep it in the arga and you keep it out so it's cold because once it gets too hot, then it will let a bit of the heat through. So it's called a plain cold sheet for a reason. So that is really, really useful. And then I think something that is just brilliant. So I'm gonna use this circle. You want to use it, so you've got two rings here. One is medium to high and one is um, a lower temperature. Mum used to always test uh, because Rayburn's is the opposite way round. So Rayburn, has its cooler one that side and its hotter one that side. <laughs> she used to do the spit test, which is, I will not be doing that today for you. But I'm just going to pop this on here like that. And then, I mean, this is just so, so clever. I've got an egg here and I'm gonna crack my egg straight on to the center. And you can do a couple of eggs at the same time. And then, because the Arga lid is dome-shaped, you can close the lid, and that's how I fry an egg. So you don't need a frying pan, you don't need any fat, you don't need any oil. Literally, you just fry your egg on there. Leave it for, I mean, it depends how well cooked you want it, but a minute, a minute and a half approximately, and it just cooks beautifully. So that is another real pro. Now, I have got, um, these which are really well worn and really you know <laughs> well used so I don't do any drying up anymore I just literally put um, I use so my dirty ones that are on there and my drying up things like that go on here I also um, when I take a tray out of the oven I put it on here I never put anything straight onto the top because it scratches them and then once they're scratched, you can't get it sorted. So those live on there the whole time and all washing, washing up, drying up goes on there, which is brilliant. But then I've got these gorgeous ones, which actually were a present from a lovely, lovely Alice who um, designed these. She came to stay and gave me these. So these are um, my clean ones. I don't put anything dirty on them but I have got a pile of pillowcases here. And mum was the queen of Arga ironing. And I'm gonna show you what she did. So she literally would fold things really, you know, as beautifully as she could. And then she would pile, pile up the ironing and actually it's probably better with even a bit more. And the weight pushes down and irons these. Don't put them direct onto the metal because you will, um, they will slightly um, brown after time. So onto an auger, an auger ring like that, and then literally the weight, and then you can just rotate. And you, can, you don't have to use the high one, you can use the cooler one and just swap them around and the weight. Irons, you know, t-shirts, pillowcases, you name it, not great with a men's shirt, but just so versatile. So that is another wonderful, wonderful um, benefit of having an arga. You can also dry lots of things on this rail. 
I've been known to do um, a little bit of ballet holding on here. Um, there's just so many benefits. It's brilliant for snuggling around. Um, you know, when it's cold and you've come in, you can hang all sorts of things on it to dry. And I just think they're a wonderful, wonderful addition to kind of family life. I do have some friends that have got them in London as well because they just enjoy their argus so much. Right, let's have a look at this egg. I've been chatting away so much. So look, no oil, nothing needed. Just slice it um, onto a plate. And there you have got a brilliantly fried egg. I have been chatting quite a lot, so that's the yolk has gone a little harder than I would love, but you know, it's so simple and easy to do. So this is the best thing for making cheese and ham toasties. They are just brilliant. So you don't have, you don't have to butter the bread and put it into the machine and then the machine takes hours to clean. I mean, these are just brilliant for, for those. Um, and for toast as well. I think there's nothing yummy actually than argo toast. So you literally just pop your bread in there. Don't use the high heat because it, it cooks too quickly and burns. Um, they actually say that you should warm this up for a moment before you put um, the bread in and it's less likely to stick. So literally just put that in and then um, probably a minute on each side and turn it halfway through. So that's really handy. I use a simmering oven down here to keep things warm. Also really great meringues um, are cooked in there and I cook all my Christmas cakes in a simmering oven really slowly. They take about well between seven and nine hours approximately for te uh, depending on the size so that's really useful and then I do all of my cakes in the baking oven and bread and, and things like that we don't have an electric kettle at the moment so I just use my og kettle and um, that goes on the high one there is um, a hot spot on the rings so it literally is the center point so if you put your um, kettle or your saucepan slightly off to one side it won't boil as quickly as it would if you put it right on the hot spot in the middle so that's quite a useful thing and you can do two saucepans at the same time so you can have one off there and one off there if um, they don't need to be boiling and the other really useful thing about an agar is you could cook a piece of salmon and um, something sweet that you wouldn't want the smells transferring so in like an electric oven you wouldn't want to cook say an apple tart and salmon at the same time but you can in the same oven of the agar and the smells don't transfer which is really clever and it's just quite useful that you could just you know do multiple things and because the ovens are quite big particularly if you're using the smaller trays you could get four smaller trays so you can cook multiple things at the same time if you're cooking a Sunday roast or Christmas lunch, something that um, you want to keep as much temperature in the ovens as possible, then you don't want to have the lids open for too long, which is quite important to remember. Um, so you can, rather than boiling a saucepan on the lid, you can actually bring it to the boil and then you can put it into the oven, as long as you remember, once you've taken it out, not to touch that handle, because I think everyone that has an agar does that from at some point or other. But it's um, yeah, really useful. You can bring things to the boil and then let them simmer. So rather than having a slow cooker, I cook, I bring things, like I might make a big thing of bolognese, bring it to the boil on the top and then I pop it into the simmering oven and leave it there for hours and hours and it's just um, delicious. So I think that breakfast is pretty much ready. Let me show you what it looks like. So I've got really good crispy bacon there and my sausages so I did turn them once both the sausages and the bacon I just think that using the rack you don't get soggy soggy bacon which is great and then my grilled mushrooms and tomatoes and again you, no oil cooked in there in there as either so much healthier alternative than a you know kind of really greasy fried breakfast so I hope that you have found um, my Arga tips and um, you know how it works and all of that useful and also for laundry it's just brilliant so as ever thank you very much for watching